Mexico in 1986. Oh, a bad kick out. Here's Whiteside. Tries one. And that was almost a costly mistake. <laughs> Up they go, on by Billy Hamilton. Will it fall for Stewart? He's still there, comes across. Almost an old goal. No, says the referee. My word, it couldn't have been closer. The referee telling those Romanians to get back. They're queuing up at the back post. Nickel with the kick. Hamilton with the header. And that looked a good save from Lund. Good goalkeeping. This is Tikliano. But no one really in the middle. Here comes Hadji. Puts it forward. All sorts of trouble. It's an own goal. And that looks like Jurgalescu, the number six, who's put it into his own net. And 1 0 for Northern Ireland. There goes the ball. Bounces about. And that's number six, Jurgalescu. Own goal and 1 0 to Northern Ireland. Here's Augustine going through, Jennings on. The chance for the chip from Hachi, and it's there. The Romanians have hit back. Hachi it is, Michael Henney can't stop it, and it's 1-1. Left again for Nicol. Aldonke. Yeah, yeah. Forward, white side on side, it's 2 1. Not in white side. 16 minutes into the second half. And it's a fourth international goal for Norman White side. Here we see it again. White side on side, and he makes no mistake. 2 1. Hello. Augustine. Jerry McElhenney, Augustine has a chance. Good goalkeeping from Pat Jennings. Balls for Donaghy. Stewart. Two men with him. Does well. Armstrong's there. Ball for new. It does! What a goal! 3-1 to Northern Ireland. Martin Here we see it. Shoot again. Got to the byline. The deep cross. I think it was Jerry Armstrong got the touchdown. Fell for a new. And that's how you hit a half volley. Lung, no chance. 3 1. Armstrong wins the header. Losing out in the end. Well, it comes across. Augustine. And it's there. From the substitute, Jolgar. A far side. The cross looked too long. Augustine with the header. Good save from Jennings, but fell perfectly for Jolgar. Hamilton heading for the corner. Still with it. Oh, and there's an incident off the ball. And that was Klein. And he's off. Right at the very end of this game, Anthony is not pleased. <laughs>
having all the possession. That's Kamataru, centre forward, who was fouled. But Haji again is the player lining up the kick. Six in the wall. And six wasn't enough. Haji has scored for Romania after 22 minutes. Beautifully curled over the wall and away from the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper being one of them, Arif recalled. Oh, but what's he done there? What has he done? And he has presented the second goal to Kamataru. After 28 minutes, and there won't be a more bizarre goal, surely, in the World Cup qualifiers than this. Arif making a terrible nonsense of his clearance. And Kamataru, the centre-forward, who they think will join Benfica next season, has a simple task. Well, three minutes left in the first half. This is Haji for Romania. Hooks a good ball, and Kamataru's in again. And that's three. His second. Well taken but beautifully made by little Haji there, who had the vision to see where Kamataru was. A beautiful ball with his left foot, cut out the defender, and Kamataru in for a fairly simple finish. Having said that, he takes the ball down here on his chest. And Still plenty of the ball for Romania, but not the thrust of the first half up to now. Mateusz. He's only 19. Now the sub who came on, and it's a good cross too, and Rednick is coming in, and he's missed it, and the Katouche came on there. Haji is keeping Romania going here, the man they call the little Maradona in Eastern Europe, he began that attack and he found Balac. And just look at the ground Haji's making here to continue his run, he's right through, and the goalkeeper out, and that is going to be, yes, a penalty. Haji the player on the run and the goalkeeper caught him with his foot. Balac with a chance to return here in style. Oh, saved by Arif, but surely he moved. Balac upset with the shot, but surely in making that save, the Turkish goalkeeper Arif must have moved before the kick was taken. year olds Trevor Stephen, Mark Wright and Watford's John Barnes have to watch and England will number 11 Haji the pin-up boy of Romanian football eight days uh, nevertheless it is good to see the Italian players that have been in Italy back I think it's going to be quite a physical match because I do believe they're well round up these Romanians and already the flags up Borasser is the player who West Harry Butch has made his way forward. There was a fair amount of practice here on set plays. As Trevor Stephen comes in for the header. Kamataru got up unopposed, but Butcher made a good decision because he conceded possession. And now Mike Wright being tested and Shelton having to come to the edge of the 18-yard area, but kept the ball just inside the line and a foul on him by Korash. Barnes took it, Robson! Oh, he's hit the post! So close for England and their captain, Brian Robson. Barnes curled it in, Robson beat his marker, he beat the goalkeeper, and it hit the upright. He did try, and Shilton, who's been made very aware of Haji, indeed they rehearsed defending at these free kicks, England, in that very goal only yesterday. Korash coming in, back to Negrilla. Good drive by the right back, Ngrianu. 
Berlini, Ungrianu, Korash. Shot was blocked by Butcher, but he still played it on again for Kamatari to shoot. And he'll probably be disappointed with his finish. Playing as they did in the first half, and it's the second half starting with England playing from the right. Allegedly 110,000 somehow found their way in. About 70 or just under today, I would think. Haji is fouled. And the early ball for Kamataru, who is onside, and Korash in the middle. Berlini back to Negrilla. Kamataru coming in. Good save again by the England goalkeeper. And Butcher was in there. And a chance for Robson. And for Mariner. Oh! England's best opportunity, perhaps. But as Robson dived in first and caused the unrest... Kamataru going up with Butcher. And Korash here. And Haji! And it's not a chance, though. He played it back to Klein. And Rednich is in there. And it's all a little bit wild in the England penalty area. Jovan has come up from the back. Korash! Well, that happened because Mark Wright appeared to either slip or... Berlini. Berlini to Ungruanu. Came through well there and found Haji. Shilton has saved England again. Him again. And the game ends in a nil-nil draw. And I remember saying at the end of the match in Belfast that the result in the long term will be more important to England than the performance. <laughs>
Waddle number 11, Lineker number 10. Robson has joined them. Huddle is onside! One nothing! Oh, that's lovely! Really gorgeous goal because the Romanians were looking the other way and suddenly the barn door behind them was wide open. Look at this, they're all looking for the long ball. They move up. Huddle just stayed onside because of the defenders on the near side as we looked. That's his seventh goal for England. And it comes in the 20. Right. A particularly good header. Koresh. Saw it so quickly, having won the ball. And the pace of Lineker was a trending factor. Kamataru, did he take it with his hand? Shilton, it's one of Reese. Shilton obviously thought that he used his hand. Look at Francesco there. But I must say, I thought the number nine used his hand. With a flick on by Rednick. Surely there was a touch of the forearm there. But he got right through the heart of the end of the fence. Peter Shilton to meet him. And Shilton, in fact, went the wrong way. Huddle. Reed. Hately. Lineker. Stevens. Romania. Haven't been beaten here. Sansa. <laughs> Bring me away from Haji. Lineker, good save. More individual ability here than in many of their sides of the past. John Barnes. Lineker. Left the reaction to that pass was understandable. Puddle, yes, Barnes, yes, no, the flag is up on the far side. I can only think the flag was for offside, must have been very, very tight indeed. it is and Mirce Luchescu greets that as a victory which for him it is to get a point here at Wembley Starting a match, unusual for him. That's a good ball by Whiteside. This is Whiteside onside. <laughs> Klein, McDonald up early. The ball's broken for Hadji. Korash is in the centre. Hadji wants it himself. And a good save by Jennings at his near post. That's the danger of the 20-year-old Jorge Hadji. That's Rednick. Played a good one too. Mateus right the way through it again. Jennings with a great save on his line. Sammy McElroy. Whitesides the far side. Signalling to McElroy. 
a good run by McElroy. Quinn's on side. If he can hold it and turn it. And he has done it. Jimmy Quinn has given Northern Ireland the lead with 28 minutes gone. Made by Sammy McElroy. Whiteside at the far post probably making his presence felt just by doing nothing. And Jimmy Quinn timing his run to perfection onside. Almost lost it there. Did very well to recover as Loon came towards him and just tucked it away into the corner. But it's a great start by the visiting team. Great control this by Jimmy Quinn. Just slipping it between the goalkeeper and the near post. Hadji brought down for a free kick. Short, and that's an amazing shot coming in from Bolony. Basically the cup final of this World Cup qualifying group. Bolony's corner and Jennings was there. Not clear and two Northern Irishmen confusing each other. Whiteside and Nickel exchange words. Pat Jennings grateful to pick up the ball as it dropped into his hands. Angoriano's mistake, now Penny, Penny against the goalkeeper. Prefers Negrila. Angoriano. He fancies himself. Pat Jennings, straight into the bench there. This is Jovan. Wide Rednick and now Hadji. Hadji again looking for space to shoot. Okay, Hadji starting the second half with a fabulous left foot shot there. For half an hour of the match to go. Corner perhaps aiming for a volley. In the end, a half volley, and Jimmy Nicol off the line from Matthews. Ball not clear yet. Very quiet. But now a chance for Hadji. Jimmy Nicol's interception. And Joe Gao, perhaps thinking that he could make something more of that. Whether the uh, far post was covered there. Overhead kick. The Turk at that time. Bologna and Hadji, little chip this time, and again McDonald with a fine header. Oh, what a great save by Jennings. Hadji, Bologna. And again, Nicholas off the line, a tremendous save by Jimmy Nicholas. And then Goliano with a follow up shot. Pat Jennings. Checking his position again and again. A clear header and a great save again by Jennings. Rednick this time. But their thoughts. He's watching and watching. And that is it. Northern Ireland have done it again. They did it in Spain at the World Cup Finals. Beating Spain 1-0 in Valencia. They did it in Hamburg in the European Championships. Beating them 1-0 there. And they've done it today. And now a match to come against England at Wembley and with everything to play for. Yorgulescu da uzun boylu futbolcu çıktı. Okan eliyle müdahale ediyor. Ancak Ünal güçlü son anda kalemizde tehlike ve filelere giden top karşılaşmanın 14. dakikasında 1-0 yenik duruma düşmemize sebep oluyor ve Yorgulescu bu 6 numaralı futbolcu, uzun boylu futbolcu kafa vurmak için ileri çıkmıştı ama defansın boşluğundan yararlanarak yerden yuvarladığı topla filelerimize gönderdiği topla 1-0 yenik duruma düştük. Evet bir kere daha seyrettiniz. Yorgulescu stoper olarak oynayan Yorgulescu Yorgulescu Koras, Rednic, Rednic, kaleci Okan çıkıyor, Koras vuruyor ve karşılaşmanın 27. dakikasında ikinci golü atıyor Koras ve 2-0 yenik durumdayız. İkili mücadelede defansımız etkisiz kalıyor. 
Okan'ın müdahalesi de boşuna ve Koras rahatlıkla topu ikinci defa filelerimize gönderiyor. Klein, Hagi, Möloni topun gerisinde pek çok futbolcu var ve serbest vuruş kullanılıyor. Ve üçüncü defa top filelerimize takılıyor. Böloni atıyor golü karşılaşmanın 52. dakikası değerli seyirciler. Gol bir kere daha, gol bir kere daha görüntüye geliyor. Köşe vuruşu kullanacak. Son 12 dakikası oynanırken karşılaşmanın Erdoğan. Ve filelere giden top Metin'in kafa vuruşuyla milli takımımıza gol getiriyor ve Gol yeniden görüntüde. Kale direğine çarpıyor.